Hi Lettuce Heads, happy FAQ Friday. Today I want to address how to improve one's body image. So the big thing that I'm hearing left and right is, you know, how do you feel better about yourself? How do you get there? How do you feel so confident? You know, you always look so happy and energetic. Um, and I'm not perfect. I definitely have my times where I need to pick me up from my boyfriend or my family or my friends and, and they're so there. But I grew up very, very insecure, um, fishing for compliments all the time. And I personally can relate to anybody who's struggling with body image issues. And it is a work all the time in progress. Um, but the tips that have really helped me is to be successful with anything, the first thing. To be successful with anything, you've got to be grateful. Um, you've got to appreciate what you have. So if you know you don't appreciate what you have, you're never going to appreciate what you get, regardless of if you're poor and then rich, skinny and then curvy, you know, fat and then thin, whatever. It doesn't matter until you appreciate what you've been given. So you know, if you can compliment yourself three times a day on something that you're really proud of, whether it's what you look like and the fact that you love this or that or what you did that day and that you love this or that about yourself. So compliment yourself and, and appreciate what you do every day and what you've also been given. Um, two is this is what it is, right? This is who I am. My big thing is I'm 5'2", and Maybe knowing that my whole life, I never strived to be something I wasn't. I never could do anything about being six foot. Now with my weight, I felt like I could do something about that. I knew that I wasn't giving my best. So with that said, I applied myself to finally conquer that. But what I can't change is, again, what I talked about last week is the way my body is structured. So that's something that I can't wish for somebody else's body parts, but I can wish for the best me. So a big thing is accepting what you're dealt with and looking at what you can change and what you can't. So there are some things that are going to make you feel yucky. If you're not taking care of your skin, go to the dermatologist or find a regimen that clears up your acne. That could help you feel 10 times better because one, you did something about it, and two, you look healthy. Um, another example is my teeth. Um, I'm not saying go out and fix everything that bothers you, but if there are things that are going to drive you nuts and you know that you can bring a little bit of more, you know, you to it, if it makes you more you, go after it. Like, I'm not going to tell you to not. Um, I have friends who have done different things, but for me, my teeth, I, um, grew up with, never having braces, and, and that's absolutely fine. I had great teeth, and everyone said, it's fine, it's fine, but um, I wanted to have my straight teeth, and I knew I deserved it, and I did something about it, and I paid for Invisalign, so that's why I had this smile. Um, it wasn't that way before, I'll post before and afters, but when I had the teeth before, I was still happy and smiling, and I have the teeth now, and I'm still happy and smiling, and my happiness hasn't really changed because of my teeth, it's changed because of all of my personal development in the meantime but it still makes me smile more and I feel more like me. So props to people who change things if they can. The thing that I really can't stand, I hate being negative, but the thing that bothers me is when people complain, complain, complain about things that they can't change, like how much money they make or you know their situation in life. There's always something that you can do or at least you don't have to complain about it and you can make the most of it. Um, so, those are two things. And then the next thing is to start to really, you know, do things that are going to make you feel good about yourself and bring your fabulosity out. So wear flattering clothes and work out, get your endorphins going, listen to awesome music, make you want to bust a move and hang out with people that make you laugh. You're probably infinitely more attractive when you laugh. My boyfriend always teases me that he always wants me to smile because he finds it that much more attractive and it annoys me but it really is true if you're having a good time if you're letting loose if you're smiling you're going to be 10 times more attractive um, and that's really not going to happen if you're focusing on you know what you don't have and, and what you don't like about yourself um, and lastly I really highly recommend I mean this is a no-brainer especially for me now, um, is personal development. So find a book, find audio, find blogs that you can talk basically to yourself and get out of your own head. So you deserve to feel good about yourself. You deserve to have a beautiful, happy life and a beautiful 
body and a beautiful face and a beautiful mind. And if you get out of your own way, it will happen um, based on the way that you look at yourself and based on the way that you treat yourself. So um, right now I'm reading Make Every Man Want You. It's hilarious because I'm in a relationship, but it just goes over how to um, really be in the moment and be fine with the way everything is and not just be fine but be happy with the way everything is so being happy with the way everything is and then making the most of the situations things are just going to start coming together kind of like the secret and all these other books where if you see it and you know and believe it it will come but that all comes from a place of working hard being grateful but letting things happen and not getting in your own way so my four biggest suggestions are being grateful, so going down that line, complimenting yourself. Two is to realize it is what it is, so know what you're dealt with. Know that you're 5'2 and not 6 foot. So look at what you can change and go after it, and then if you don't want to um, change it, if you do love it about yourself, come to love it. But if, if you can't do anything about it, make the most of it. Um, wear flattering clothes, so three, wear flattering clothes, or work out, or do things that make you feel just sexy. You don't need to punish yourself and wear something that squeezes you too tight or not do your makeup or not do your hair if, if it's going to bother you and you're not going to feel your best. So, you know, give yourself the best. Um, and then four is to just go forward and read books, read audio, and it will reiterate these things that I'm saying and, and others that you haven't even touched on, but it helps you know that you're not alone and know that there are so many things you can do to help your mind really um, embrace who you are and, and to uh, obtain a quality of happiness you haven't reached yet. And I can't tell you how much more I've accomplished and how much different I see the world now that I've been doing different readings left and right and audio and blogs and, and inspiring others. So... Um, those are my four suggestions and you know it's not a cure you've got to do the work um, but hopefully that helps and um, I hope that you guys continue to tune in share this with your friends and family comment below I really want to hear from you and I appreciate um, the people who are asking the questions this actually came from Twitter so I'm super pumped um, but anyway let us heads thank you stay tuned and have a great weekend